this week's show. We look back on the great adventure of Solar Impulse, we head to the Laureus World Sports Awards, and we see how the Principality school kids got to spend some time with the players of the Arocca team. They are modern-day adventurers, pioneers in the field of solar aviation. Seven months after finishing their round-the-world flight on board Solar Impulse, Bertrand Picard and André Borchberg were back in the Principality, at the same place that their Mission Control Centre was located. The two pilots were welcomed by Prince Albert II, who was a great believer in their challenge and who supported them throughout, proving to the whole wide world that the idea of clean energy in the future is not as utopian as we think. André Borchberg and Bertrand Picard presented their film, Solar Impulse, L'Impossible Tour du Monde. It's quite incredible. If you go back 13 years, we decided to circumnavigate the world in a solar plane. The idea seemed simple and we did it. What I remember is that we managed to live throughout moments that were more difficult than we could ever imagine, moments where we were closer to failure than we ever imagined we would be. Whether it was financial, we were two months away from bankruptcy, or in flight, when we were two seconds away from a catastrophe, or in Japan, where the plane was almost destroyed by bad weather. Each time we got through the difficulties, each time we managed to go further. I think that's what stays with me, how much more you can do than you thought you could, and that really gives me hope. Et, et je crois que c'est ça le message. En tout cas, moi, c'est ça que je retiens. C'est complètement incroyable de voir à quel point on, fait, on peut faire plus que ce qu'on croyait, à quel point on peut se sortir de situations inextricables. Et moi, ça me donne vraiment de l'espoir. After the screening, there was a long round of applause. The two pilots now want to share their adventure, their feelings, and most of all, to pass on the message that a clean future is possible. André Borchberg and Bertrand Picard have now decided to develop the idea of electric flights that will be open to the general public, hopefully in 10 years' time. Here we go. All the world's greatest sport people gathered in Monaco for the Laureus World Sports Award. This ceremony, created 17 years ago, rewards athletes from various sports who stood out in their area of expertise during the previous year. Some big names received awards during the evening, such as Usain Bolt, who won the Laureus Sportsman of the Year Award thanks to the three Olympic medals he won at the Rio Games. One of my mottos is that, you know, anything is possible. Don't think limits. And I, and I feel that I've proven that throughout the years. I never thought I would be this great at what I've done. But I want to say to the young kids growing up, just live your dream. Work hard, stay focused, and just be strong, and just keep on pushing, and it will come true. Nico Rosberg received the Laureus Breakthrough Award, and Michael Phelps received Comeback of the Year. Gymnast Simone Biles received the prize for Sportswoman of the Year. At only 19, the American champion won no less than four gold medals at the last Olympic Games. She received her award from the hands of Prince Albert II and another great gymnast, Nadia Comaneci. A partnership has been signed between the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation and the Oxford Martin School. This British institute has a research centre dedicated to climate change, oceans and biodiversity. This partnership is based on a shared determination by the two organisations to increase awareness amongst younger generations of the importance of environmental issues. The agreement will also include the co-organisation of conferences and round tables to further research in this area. In just a few short years, the AS Monaco basketball team has risen to the top. Being the leader of the Pro A League has spurred on the Rucker team to share its passion with children. Trained by the deputy trainer of the Principalities Club, these youngsters were lucky enough to get to play with two great Monegasque basketball players, Captain Amara C and American shooting guard Jamal Schuler. I used to do this kind of activity with my previous teams. Here it's a first in Monaco. The children really wanted to do it. Some of them know us, others don't. I think we had a good time, they had fun. There were prizes to be won, unfortunately not enough for everyone, but they still had fun. This is a break from the championship for the rugby team and a very special event for the school children. The workshop finished with an autograph session and the traditional rocker team battle cry. 
a good example of team spirit. Time to go. See you next week.